Hi everyone, this is Eric, otherwise known as XDN, on the BeatTheCasino.com forum. And I uh, thought we'd do another little question and answer video here. Uh, one of our members, Kaizen, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, apologies if I didn't, asked the question, um, I'm seeing how useful XTB is, but it's a bit difficult using the app. Would like to see potential live shoe and talk through if time per permits. So I had a few minutes and I thought we'd uh, log on um, Bovada here, maybe play a few hands and go through XTB a little bit. And uh, let's see what we can uh, find out and learn. So uh, just logging on Bovada here. We'll bring up one of these tables, see if it's in a good position to, uh, to join the game. Oh yeah, that'll work out nice. Shrink it just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and plug these in. We've got a player, bank, bank, player, 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 bank, bank, player, five banks. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, in the next release, I've... Um, added some uh, settings that if you're just uh, wanting to play one or the other, one or more um, of the disparities or statistics, you can you can kind of clean your screen up by turning it on and off. So since we're going to be using XTB, I'll just, uh, I'll just bring up the XTB only statistic here. So um, XTB is basically tracking whether singles are are following multiples, multiples following singles. So it's basically how each event is tying back to the previous event. So looking in the uh, first part of this shoe here, um, I don't count the uh, the single player because I really don't know if that was a single or a double in the shoe. So we'll start with um, the two banker and three player. So we had a multiple followed by a multiple. I call that an XTB repeat. And then we had a multiple, this player three, followed by a banker two. And I call that an XTB repeat. So, but this banker two followed by a player one is an XTB opposite. So, um, let's see, let's go ahead and plug these two banks in here. We got another multiple. And now we can see the XTB opposites are leading this shoe, and they're hot at least on the big road and on the small road. So small road here, we can see uh, the opposites have kind of taken over in the last part here. So what we're looking for is just to figure out how the shoe, how the multiples and the singles are falling in the shoe. Um, so far in this shoe, XTB opposites have occurred four more times than XTB repeats. So in the first little section here, we had three repeats, but then we had one, two, three, four, five, six XTB opposites. So that's telling us, the XTB opposites are telling us that singles are following multiples and multiples are following singles. So uh, let's just uh, see what we can figure out here. So that was a player. So since XTB opposites are leading this shoe, I'm going to go ahead and play Banker here because Banker would make this player a, a single one. So let's go ahead and drop that on here. So that would mean the uh, multiple was followed by a single and we have to have a Banker to make this player a single. Okay, so it was a banker, so that's continuing. So now that confirms that this player one remained a player one. So that is definitely a single following a multiple. Now, XTB opposite says that we need a multiple to follow the next single. So that again is a banker. And I'm just looking up here right now. And XTB is only 
concerned with um, one staying one or one going to two. After that, there's no bets in XTB. So let's see if this pattern continues. Natural nine, all right. Okay, so you can see now there's no XTB indicator because the banker one went to two and we've got a confirmed multiple here. So again, we've got a nice section here. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't know if I'd call it a strong side or not, but player is definitely weak. So that's, um, that's what's driving the XTB count here. Again, we had a multiple followed by a single. That's an opposite. Single followed by a multiple, opposite, m multiple followed by a single, opposite, and so forth. So we're going to wait for the next event here. Okay, banker went to three. Again, that was not an XTB bet because um, we're only concerned with ones and twos, basically. Bas ones and two pluses. So... Um, Again, this was the previous event was a player single, and we did not know that player was a single until it switched to banker. And then when it went to banker, we got a banker multiple. So that's continuing this XTB opposite because the single is being followed by a multiple. Okay, so that went to player. So again, we've got a banker multiple, banker three. And now we're at player, a player unconfirmed one. We don't know if this is a single or a multiple yet, but since XTB opposites are, are running, we're going to bet for the banker to, to uh, come to confirm that this is a single player. And hopefully we can get a demonstration of an XTB flip here too. We'll see if that comes. We'll see if we uh, get a few units up. We might uh, stick it out in the shoe. <laughs> well, come on, bank. Okay, banker wins. One to zip. We will take it. Okay, so again, we were playing for this player, unconfirmed player one, to stay a one, so we bet banker. And now this is a confirmed single. So the XTB opposite says that we need a multiple here. Multiple would be another banker. So we're going to go on banker. And just keep playing it until it stops working. <laughs> the nice thing about playing everything as a run, you know, in my comment, I say play it till it stops working. You know, you're only going to lose the one or two units instead of trying to... Um, Instead of trying to capture those losses with some kind of wild progression, if we just flat bet those, you know, we lose one unit, maybe two, if you want to make another bet on it, on uh, what you're playing. But, you know, we don't uh, basically burn our whole bankroll trying to, you know, chase one unit loss. So let the losses go, find another run of something, and then try to exploit it. Oh, I missed my banker bet. Oh, good thing. I got lucky. Oh, my goodness. Well, I was going to bet banker there. I got to talking and missed it. So there you go. Got got lucky. Um, and that went player. So now the XTB opposite count is still leading. So I am going to play. I'm going to go ahead and let set this one out. So what I'd like to see is an XTB flip here. We've had a nice, really long string of XTB opposites. I'd like to start, sometimes the when you get a long run of one XTB type, XTB opposite, it'll turn into a the opposite type, which is an XTB repeat. And that's kind of what's happening here. Okay, so this went cold. I'm going to... I'm going to jump on the flip here. I'm going to I'm going to say that um, we'll just make one bet here and see if we're going to get an XTB flip. Now, what that means is, like I said, we've had a long run of XTB opposites, and many times you will see a strong run of one side of XTB turn into a run 
of the other side of XTB. Gonna need some help here, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so now we don't have a uh, bet on um, the big road XTB. So we'll we will just let, let this ride and see what we get. Now this can this could turn into uh, multiples following multiples as well. So what I was playing for was um, this XTB opposite count, this long run of XTB opposite to turn into a run of XTB repeat. And at this point, we don't know that it did not happen. Tie of three. Okay, she was getting a little kind of unstable here. We don't know that it didn't flip because XTB repeats can be both singles following singles and multiples following multiples. So there's a good possibility here of, um, there's two possibilities. You know, if we get a single after this multiple, then that would be an XTB kind of, that would be an XTB opposite and that would mean the shoe had a little hiccup here and it's going back to the pattern it was on. If we have another repeat, I would probably pay, play another bet on the next event for a repeat again to see if I can catch an XTB flip run. But we'll just wait these out here. 2-2. Two, two. Wow, lots of ties in this shoe. Look at this. Okay, let's see. We've had a tie. Player, bank, bank, player, or tie, tie, yeah. So again, to summarize while I'm waiting for the next event, what a, on the big road, want an XTB count of opposite has won six more times than repeats. And single, multiple followed by a single, single fight followed by a multiple is an opposite XTB event. So we had uh, six of those up to here. And then we had two repeat events and we have another opposite event here. So since I don't know exactly what this is doing here, I'm just gonna wait. So banker went to three. And what I'm hoping for is that this XTB opposite run in the first part of the shoe turns into an XTB repeat run to bring this back into balance. At least that's that's the bet I was going for when I missed that last bet. So we'll see what we get. Um, on the big eye at Cockroach Road, you know, we've got some decent counts, but they're conflicting here. So I'm not going to bet those, of course. If they match, if they confirm each other, I might consider it. All righty, banker. Looks like banker's going for a ride. So as you can see, we don't have any... Um, uh, XTB doesn't make any recommendations for anything past the one goes to two event. So while we're waiting on the next event, let's take a quick look. Um, I've added some new settings in the app that will be coming out in the next version very soon where you can turn off um, indicators that you don't want. So it just kind of helps you clean up the shoe if you're if you just like to play one or two indicators. And then also I've come up I've added a reset settings. This resets all of the settings to the default. So uh, that'll be coming out. So we got a player here. XTB opposite is six. It's neutral. Got a player over here, a player down here, and a banker here. I'm going to take one more shot at this. If this one loses, I'm going to I'm going to end the game. But this is one more shot that the XTB opposite run flipped, and it's going to an XTB repeat run. The XTB repeats can come in singles following singles or multiples following multiples, and we got one. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's hang around here a while. <laughs> this is getting interesting. So um, on the Big Eye Road, you can see we have an XTB opposite count of six. So let's go down to Big Eye. So we had, a, we had a multiple followed by a single, followed by a multiple, followed by a single, followed by a multiple. So those are all XTB opposites. And then we get three multiples, XTB repeats. And then it went back to XTB opposites with the exception of one little hiccup here. That's probably the same hiccup as 
uh, that occurred on the big road. So right now we're just um, going to wait for events. Okay, banker. Okay. So I'm going to bet banker here. And to explain that, I'm looking for this XTB opposite run to turn into an XTB repeat run because we had two repeats here and we've had two repeats here. Now, XTB opposite is still leading in the count, but you can see it's cold. That means XTB repeats are leading, are hot, currently hot. So even though it shows a player, I'm going to bet banker because this went cold and I'm looking for an XTB repeat, which is banker. So it can be a little tricky. Uh, happy to help you with that if we can, uh, if anybody wants to ask me a question about it. And we got another one. So while we're waiting for an event, let me explain that a little more. Um, the first part of the shoe up till about right here, XTB opposite was leading, which got the count to a, to a count of six on the opposite side. Now I'm looking for a switch to the XTB repeat side. So what happened is opposites went cold because it's lost it's now lost two. It was at a high of six, and now it's down to four. So when the indicator's cold, and if you want to play the XTB flip, you will need to bet the opposite recommendation that's in there. And again, happy to help with more questions. I'll probably repeat that a couple of more times um, in this video, <laughs> just to make sure um, that everybody understands it. So the first you know, half of this shoe, we had an XTB opposite count of six. Opposite, opposite XTB events happened six more times in repeats. Now it's flipping into an XTB repeat pattern, which happens commonly, not every time. So you have to watch it. You know, you have to use your own judgment. Uh, the app doesn't tell you when it's going to flip. You just have to use your own judgment. But we flipped into an XTB repeat pattern here. The XTB repeat pattern is single followed by a single followed by a single. Now this is an XTB opposite which is the single player followed by a multiple banker. But then we go back to a multiple followed by a multiple followed by a multiple. And this is one of the things we've uh, we've been talking about on the forum uh, GB, GBO9 uh, to the greater extent and uh, uh, Canada Bach with his um, horizontal Baccarat. We've kind of, it's kind of nice because GB9 and I have both observed similar, uh, the similar propensity for shoes that, that um, get out of balance on one side or the other. When they flip, they tend to stay long enough to get a unit or two hopefully more out of it. So again, we're going to stick with this as long as it's working. And when we miss a bet, we'll just stop and see where the shoe is going. See if, uh, see if we get any indication that it's going back to XTB opposite or going to go back to XTB repeat. That's if we miss, when we miss the next uh, bet. And we will miss one coming up. <laughs> again, just play it as a run. Keep on the event till it stops working. Okay, that was a player. Okay, so player. Okay, now we can see XTB opposite still leading in the count from the first part of the shoe. But it's cold. It's not working anymore. XTB repeats are working. So I'm going to bet player. It's the app is recommending banker because the opposite count is still greater than repeat count in the running total, in the running counter. Ooh, going to need some help here. Uh, okay, banker. Okay. So, um, it's possible this could go back into a repeat pattern, which is would be another single following this single, following this single player. 
So for right now, we've got a confirmed single player, which is switched to a banker one that's unconfirmed. We don't know if this banker is a multiple or a single yet. This hand is going to tell us. And player wins. So it looks like the XTB opposite, or I'm sorry, XTB repeat uh, pattern is continuing. So I'm going to end here. I'm, this is just supposed to be a quick answer, question answer video um, for Kaizen. And hopefully I pronounced your uh, handle correctly. Uh, let's see. I started at 85. I'm at 100. So I got three units out of that. Pretty handy for just betting uh, one stays one or one goes to two. And um, let's summarize this shoe. In the first part of the shoe, we had a run, a very nice run of XTB opposites. An XTB opposite is when a single follows a multiple or a multiple follows a single. So in the first part of the shoe, that occurred six more times than XTB repeats. So right around here, the shoe did what, what uh, GB9 and I have coined a strong flip. Um, I call it an XTB flip. You can call it anything you want. Um, the shoe flipped from a strong XTB opposite pattern to a strong XTB repeat pattern. We've had a couple of opposites in there, but in general... This has turned into an XTB repeat, and I should be betting it because it's continuing. Look at this. Um, so if XTB opposites are singles followed by, or multiple followed by a single, single followed by a multiple, XTB repeats are the same event follows, and that can come in two forms. A single following a single, multiple following a multiple. So in this case, it has flipped and, oops, you know what? I entered that incorrectly. Let's go back to Banker. It has flipped and stayed here enough to get some units. And a tie. Okay. And the way you read the counter, and it can get a little tricky, you have to remember that opposite repeat counts are a running count. An opposite is plus one, a repeat is minus one. It's the same as um, our opposite repeat counts. So in the first half of the shoe, the opposites got up to plus six, and then um, they were hot. So the uh, XDB indicator up here is would be giving out opposite uh, recommendations. So when, yeah, look at that, just keeps going. I am costing myself units here. Should be betting these. That is a strong series of events. Well, let's see, wait a minute. I want to make sure I've got this correct here. Four bankers, player bank, player bank, player bank, player bank, player bank. Okay. So... Again, this is something that we've noticed in tracking these horizontal events. Look at that. Should be playing instead of talking, shouldn't I? Now, if you now check this out, what the counter does. Um, right here in the shoe, we were at a plus six in the count. XTB opposite was at a count of six. This shoe did a hard reset into XTB repeats and look it's back to almost zero. This is one of the things I like about XTB. In Baccarat there's there are many 50-50 events player banker, opposite repeat, and single multiples. Um, tie four. Player, banker, and opposite repeat counts can get way out of whack. I mean, you can you can have a shoe where banker is leading, just like this one. Banker is leading 28 to 16. So the opposite repeat count, or I'm sorry, the player banker count and opposite repeat count can get way out of balance and stay there. Um, the XTB repeat and single and multiple events 
seem to have a little better balance. There's a le little less variance in it in, in that event. So, yeah, look at this. Oops, I keep entering them incorrectly. That was a bank. So, this shoe has completely flipped from an XTB opposite shoe, did a hard reset into an XTB repeat shoe. And the counter went from an XTB opposite count of six, now it's to all the way to an XTB repeat count of one, which means it's won the last, well, not won the last seven, but it's in the in this section here, it, the XTB repeat has occurred seven more times and it keeps going. I'm not on this run anymore because I want I started talking, but um, we'll stick with this and see. Let's eh, stick with it for a couple of more hands and see how it turns out. So yeah, the opposite XTB opposite just did a hard reset. It got out of balance up to six. The shoe did a hard flip to XTB repeats, and there we go. It stayed there. Um, I got three units out of this shoe. I probably should have gotten six at minimum if I wasn't talking. But <laughs> So there we go. We finally got it into this um, singles run here. And I'm going to end the video here. But I um, hope that answered some questions for you, Kaizen. And uh, again, I hope I'm pronouncing your handle correctly. I'm seeing how useful XDB is, but it's a bit difficult using the app. Well, uh, I can't think of anything else to add. Just the summary that this was a really good um, shoe to demonstrate the three facets of XTB. And the, the three things to remember are the XTB opposites were running in the first part of the shoe. An opposite is a single followed by a multiple or a multiple followed by a single. And then the shoe switched to XTB repeats, which is either a single following a single or a multiple following a multiple. And the other wonderful thing that this shoe demonstrated was the idea of the XTB flip, which is um, something, it's kind of a behavior that, like I said, GB9, Natural9, and myself have independently found that it's not uncommon for a shoe to flip from one type of XTB event or joined event to another type of joined event and stay there long enough to get you some units, which in this case it surely did. Um, I think that's about it. Um, the new release, and that's the end of the shoe. So the new release will be coming out uh, fairly soon. I'll probably post it up to Google um, in the next few days. And it's just going to contain um, these uh, new settings that will allow you to turn certain indicators on and off. So let's just look at that really quickly. So in this case, we can see that um, V87, the V87 had a great hit rate throughout this whole shoe, so that would have been another good one to play. But if you find yourself um, not playing V87 or XTB um, or the disparities, you can just go in here now and turn it off, clean the screen up just a little bit. Um, if you're not a fan of XTB, you could uh, go ahead and turn that off and just show a T202, which is a fantastic place way to play. So um, that's it for me. I hope that answered your qu some questions, and um, I'm happy to take some more and do some more of these uh, question-answer videos. I think they're much easier than uh, typing a whole bunch of text in the forum, so... Uh, thanks for joining me, um, and we will talk to you all soon.